have I waited for my pens to arrive? Okay, now, <clears throat> hey there. Uh, today we're going to have a look at two pens that are very dear to me because they're the SBRE brown pens. Anyway, uh, it took a while for these to be made and uh, today I want to give you an overview. Now, I, I, I cannot in good faith call this a review because they're SBRE brown pens, they're, they're my pens. Um, I will give you an overview as well as I can. I will try to provide details as well as I can and that's all there's to it. So. Uh, I'll, I'll show you the pens close up, but in a nutshell, these are pens made by Leonardo. Uh, they are made in a material that was created by Jonathan Brooks. Uh, I think that material has come out pretty nicely, but you know, who am I? And that's it. They will be sold exclusively, exclusively, sorry, <laughs> through Applebaum. That means that you can't buy them through my website, you can't, I can't reserve them for you, I can't do any of these things. The only thing I can do is tell you they are available at Applebone. This is a limited edition. There will be 150 standard size cartridge converter steel nib Leonardo Momento Zeros and then there will be 50 more exclusive Leonardo Momento Zero Grandes. This is the 2.0 Grande, which has an ink window. These will also come with a gold nib. Mine does not have a gold nib, which is ironic in many ways, but that's okay. These are kind of prototypes. I will talk about the two pens. I will show you what they're like. I'll show you how they write, although those have limited use, because as I said, this pen only it's supposed to have a gold nib and this doesn't. Some things may change a little bit. For example, the rose gold is actually going to be yellow gold trim, as I understand, so we have to talk about that. Now, one thing I do want to say, because this comes up, it has come up in the past when I had a limited edition ink that is now a production line ink, basically. People get very upset when they miss out on something they want to purchase. I understand that. It is not within my financial means to make 10,000 of these pens. It is not possible. So you get 150 standard, 50 Momento Zero Grandes. There are no rain checks. They, it's uh, uh, come first, served first. Is that the expression? It's been a long day. Anyway, let's, that's enough blabbering. Let's really look at the pens. And then I'll do a writing sample and I'll tell you what I like about them and what I don't like about them. Well, I hate them. They're just terrible. God. Okay. Sorry. Sorry about that little... That was just me testing the white balance a little bit. Okay. So what do we have? I can't show you boxes because I don't have a box. The pens were just uh, sent to me uh, just as you can see them here. Uh, at least one of them. This is the other one. So these really are... The, I shouldn't say standard. These are normal Momento Zeros. There is nothing fancy about them. Uh, it's just a Momento Zero and a Momento Zero Grande. So from that perspective, nothing is uh, peculiar, weird or otherwise interesting. Now, if you've never seen a Momento Zero, here you see the pens next to a Pilot Metropolitan to give you a bit of an idea of the size. So I would say the Memento Zero, the regular one, is a fairly nice pen in size that should appeal to most people as to size. Now, if you like a slightly bigger pen, then the Grande is better, but it's also more limited and it is more expensive. So, speaking about the price first, because otherwise if I say that last, I know that people will comment something along the lines of, oh, I wanted one, but these are way too expensive. They should have been mentioned straight away. So let's do that straight away. The Momento Zero regular will be 220 euros, including VAT. And the Momento Zero Grande will be 550 euros, including VAT. I would like to point out, and this is not to throw anyone under the bus, I would like to point out that Yoast is the uh, strategic business mind behind this. I have not set the price. So if you want to complain about the price, please do not send me emails saying my pens are too expensive. This is the price that was set. 
Okay, I feel that I have to defend a lot of things in these videos, but that's because of the way the pen community has responded to me in the past. So there you go. Now, uh, here we have the standard size, we have the Grande, and uh, some of the things are a little different on these pens than, than the, the finished products will be. So from what I understand, first, uh, what we have here is a, a rose gold trim, which we both thought was very attractive. There were some issues engraving the nib of the rose gold trim though. So from what I understand, but please make sure you read the description on the website. I mean the Applebaum website before you purchase because there were some changes and then some more changes and some more changes. So make sure you read that. From what I understand, the trim on these standard size Momento Zeros will be gold, not rose gold. They will also come with a steel nib that is gold plated, okay? Yellow gold. Okay, these are fun pens. The material made by Jonathan Brooks uh, was chosen very specifically by me. I wanted something with brown in it because of SBRE brown, obviously. I also wanted gold highlights because I am obviously the golden highlight in many people's lives. <laughs> okay, now, um, the pen does have a SBRE brown logo on it. This is due to my astronomically sized ego. Um, that's the logo and this is the logo on the Grande. Uh, my impression was, but again check that on the website, that the final product will have the SBRE Brown in writing on there as well. Now the biggest issue with having this logo on it is that it reveals nothing and that it is impossible for you to know what is under the cap. This has been pointed out to me many times when I use the SBRE Brown logo as thumbnails for the videos. <laughs> Okay, I'm on a roll. Now, uh, the materials are made by Jonathan Brooks, as I said, but as always with material that is very swirly like this, you may see differences. For example, this 2.0 Grande has slightly less golden swirls than the standard size. This is the way it is. It's a custom material, and I think the fun of it is that it is a bit different in every specific iteration of the pen. But I understand that some people would say, yeah, but I want exactly these swirls. Well, that's impossible. Some will have more swirls than others. Uh, this is the way it is. As you can see, I vastly prefer the Grande because of the size, um, but I would rather have it had this level of swirlage, uh, which it doesn't, but that's okay because I still like it, but then I'm biased. Now, so standard size, steel nib gold plated, and what you could not see on the Grande nib that I just showed you, sorry, on the standard nib that I just showed you, but I can show it to you on the Grande. By the way, the Grande has a number six nib. It's not number eight. I know. Um, what you may be able to see is that the SBRE Brown logo, you can't see it if it doesn't focus, there we go, uh, is also on the nib. And this is a steel nib. Uh, the actual finished product will be a solid gold nib, and I don't know from the top of my head if it is 18 or 14K. I'm sorry, again, read the description on the website. I'm sorry, there have just been a lot of changes along this whole process. Do notice that this, uh, the Grande, has the new section shape, so not the old style section shape. Yeah? Uh, it looks like the Momento Zero does. But again, please read the um, description on the website. Okay, Grande is piston filled and has an ink window and again should have a number six nib but in gold with what I assume is going to be an ebonite feed but I'm not 100% sure of that so please don't quote me on that. Then there is the standard size which is a little smaller but pretty comfortable I think. Whoops, sorry, I'm sorry. When posted, um, does not have an ink window but does have a blind cap through which you can access what is really a cartridge converter. So you can also unscrew the whole barrel and in traditional fashion you get the cartridge converter filling system. I think this is all I can say. I also assume these come in a box. Mine just came in a little pen tube, um, but that's fine. 
I care a little more about the pens and the boxes, but Leonardo's typically come in boxes, so I'm assuming these will also come in boxes. I believe I've now covered everything. 150 standard, 50 grandes. I've mentioned the price, I've mentioned the material, the nib, I've mentioned the SBRA brown engraving and made a bad joke about it. Uh, I've mentioned the filling systems, so I think what we have left is the writing sample. I am going to refrain from talking about what I like and what I don't like about these pens. They're my pens. I, I, that would be fairly ridiculous. Uh, I love the pens. It's no secret that I like Leonardo pens. I've used both of these. They write very nicely. Uh, I, I, I don't really have any... I, I, I feel weird talking about what I like about it beyond that. I will say that material is pretty much what I hoped for. Like this is very, very nice with those golden swirls. So if you don't mind, I'm going to leave it at that. I'll take a new sheet of paper and I'll do a bit of writing for you. So let's start with the standard size. Uh, this is a medium nib. Oh, that's one thing I wanted to mention. Because these nibs get engraved, uh, so the final product, as I said, this one is not engraved with my logo, but the final ones will be. I am not sure if you'll be able to get every nib grade. Stay tuned and check out Yo's website. I don't know exactly how that is arranged. Uh, both of these pens I got had medium nibs, so I'm, I'm assuming there will be some choice, uh, but I don't know. Medium. Uh, the ink is SBRA Brown. I should provide you with some warning. I did ask Jonathan Brooks to cast a specific acrylic that melts if you put anything but SBRA Brown in it. <laughs> okay, so obviously there is only one ink for this pen, but there we go. Uh, the writing is smooth. It's nice. It's pleasant. I, I don't have anything else to say about it. It's it's not too wet. It's not too dry. It's uh, it's a decent nib. It's Yovo still, I believe. So um, it, it, it writes. But you know, yeah. I was trying to refrain from value judgments. Remember, <coughs> it's fairly smooth, to my mind. So I I quite like it. Um, but fast writing. It's illegible, but the feed has kept up well. I was already fiddling a bit with it there. That was a hard start, but then it picked up again. Let's do the hard start test. That's that's a pass in my mind. Uh, these are steel nibs, right? So this is not their their flexi uh, nib, but that's that's about the line variation you can get out of it. Now. If you wanted the more exclusive version, it looks like this. It's going to write differently because you will get a gold nib that I didn't get on my own pen. Yeah, um, we'll have a chat with Joost. <laughs> uh, okay, so this is the MZG Grande. And this one does have the SBRA Brown logo nib on it. Isn't it cute? Oh, it's so cute. Okay, uh, this is also N medium. Uh, and this is SBRA Brown ink as well. My initial plan in getting these pens made was to go to Mont Blanc um, and have them make a custom pen, but for reasons I don't fully understand, they never responded to my emails. Uh, so then I had to go to another pen maker uh, and I thought to myself, well, I guess Leonardo is okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I went to Leonardo straight away because Mont Blanc told me to go do things. Um, but of course I never went to Mont Blanc. I'm just joking. It's a running gag, isn't it? I think they're fun pens. This nib, I find, has a little bit more feedback than the, uh, the one on the standard. But I still find it a pleasant writer. There you go. Um, 
this is really all I have. So they should be available. I, I've, I, I've tried to synchronize with Yoast so that when the, uh, this video goes online, you can buy them. I can't guarantee how fast they will sell out. I don't even know if anyone wants this. That's not false modesty. I'm serious. I, I, I find it very scary to do these kinds of things. Um, I know the ink sells well, but, but the ink is not 550 euros. Uh, final thing I will say is I'm assuming Yoast will uh, honor this. Uh, there is the 10% discount code on my website, right, for Applebaum. Um, so click the banner, you should be able to get a 10% discount. And for the friends who are not in Europe, you wouldn't have to pay the VAT. So the pens would be a bit more affordable to you. Um, this is it. And uh, that's what I have. I hope this was useful. I hope you like the pens. If you want one, buy one. I would appreciate it. Um, that's it. Bye.